Never again. Never again. I guess I should officially take this jacket off. I'm gonna start off by saying I am a little sick. I have a cold. I'm, I'm not as loud as I usually am because I have a cold. So this video will be a little bit more toned down, but it's very serious. <sighs> What's going on, everybody? It's Brent TV. I'm a little under the weather, but you know what? The show must go on. Most people would stay home and go to bed, and I wanted to do that, but I can't. I need to film, because this is a serious problem. Whatever I titled this video, it's probably very, you know, it's probably a very serious sounding video. It's probably something along the lines of I'll never open a SpongeBob popsicle again. And the reason I say that is because every single business I call, they're just sold out. The last time I opened them, let me look at my phone. September 7th, that's like a month and a half ago. A month and a half ago was the last time I opened SpongeBob popsicles. I know some of you could, don't even care, but I do because this is my passion, it is my art. I've got an entire wall dedicated to SpongeBob stuff and I'm constantly adding to it. I've got a jacket, I've got plushies, I've got merchandise. I, I have a giant SpongeBob popsicle. I love the mission of trying to find a perfect SpongeBob popsicle. A lot of people say I already did. I did for TikTok. Never for YouTube. People might be sick of it at this point, but guess what? I'm not. I'm gonna do it till the day I die. I need to find a perfect SpongeBob popsicle for YouTube. But my problem is, every single store I go to just sold out. I probably go to stores three to four days a week looking, and all I find is Spider-Man popsicles or Minion popsicles, and it's just not the same. So today, what we're going to be doing is calling different places to see, do they have SpongeBob popsicles? It is a problem I struggle with every single week. You call these places, hey, you have SpongeBob popsicles? Nope. Hey, you have SpongeBob popsicles? Nope. Hey, do you have, let me guess, SpongeBob popsicles? Nope. It is a constant struggle of mine. I love SpongeBob popsicles. It is my, my favorite thing to do on this channel. And the fact I can't even buy them online. Like I look everywhere online to try to buy these. I can't even buy. And then I get people constantly sending me pictures of, you know, hey, we got them in Chicago. Hey, we got them here in Florida. Well, guess what? I'm in Pennsylvania and I can't find them anywhere. So let's go ahead. Let's call, you know, five, 10 places that typically have SpongeBob pop schools and see if they do. And if they do, I'm leaving. I'm going to get them right now. But I guarantee they don't. So my go-to place for SpongeBob popsicles is a place called Sheets. It's like a Wawa. People argue that Wawa is better, whatever. Keep your arguments to yourself. All I care about is they typically have SpongeBob popsicles. Do they? Let's find out. Hello, I'm calling to inquire about SpongeBob popsicles. Do you have any? They were calling Sheets, smart, I may help you. Hi, do you have any uh, SpongeBob popsicles? They're gonna say no. Martin, thank you so much for checking, but I, I know you're gonna be sold out. No, I currently do not. Oh, uh, okay. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Yep, no ah! Told you! That was store number one. Let's move on, shall we? Oh, there's this one, okay. The number you dialed is not in service. Okay, well that one obviously, it's, it's a lie. Let's call this one. Hi, do you have SpongeBob popsicles? Um, yeah, we haven't been getting them in. Oh, okay. So do you, do you yeah, know if you'll be getting them in or no? Uh, we haven't gotten them in in like a month. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah. People obsessed I, with them or something? I, we just don't get them in. I don't know why. <laughs> well, thank you so yeah. much. Yep, have a good one. Bye-bye. Bye. They haven't been getting them in in months? Why? I'll buy them all. I'll give you business. Months? Or now we're like 30 minutes away at this point. This is how far I'm calling. It's like all of PA, man. People in PA love SpongeBob popsicles. Thank you for calling. Cheats, this is Hannah. Hi, do you have SpongeBob popsicles? Um, you know what? Um, let me double check on that. We've had some weird supply shortages. I know that was one of them, but we started getting stuff back, so let me ask. Okay, thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. <gasps> Please. <sighs> Please have SpongeBob popsicles, please. Um, so we currently don't have any right now, Aww. I'm sorry. That's okay, thank you so much. Yeah, no problem, have a good one. Thanks, you too, bye-bye. Thank you, bye-bye. Oh, she said bye-bye too, but they're out of SpongeBob popsicles. Oh my God, this is like 13 miles away. This is like even farther. Thank you for calling 
calling Chase. This is Tiffany. How can I help you? Hi, Tiffany. Do you know if you have SpongeBob popsicles? Uh, we are still out of them. Oh, uh, still out. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> hey. One of back order items. Okay. Thank you so much. No problem. Well, bye bye. I remember the days where I could go out and buy them without a problem. I could go to every store. They all had them. <laughs> I can't buy them anymore. Oh my god. I'm not even joking. If anyone is in Pittsburgh and they they somehow can get me pops, like Spongebob popsicles, comment down below because this is a daily struggle of mine. <laughs> it sucks. <laughs> Hi, do you know if you have uh, Spongebob popsicles? Uh, I don't know. Okay. One second. Thank you. Look at this weird tan line. Oh, from my, I always wear a hat. I look like orange. Please have a Spongebob popsicle. Please. Hello? Do you have Spongebob popsicles? Hello? 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 Can I do this? Am I the reason for these being sold out everywhere? Popsicle, where's my paycheck, man? All this free promotion. Popsicle, just send me popsicles. Oh my god. Please. I've reached out to Popsicle before. I'm like, hey, can you send me SpongeBob Popsicles? They're like, no, but we can direct you to the closest store that has them. I went to every one, all sold out. Like, they tried, they tried it. All right, unfortunately, we currently do not. Oh, okay, thank you so much. No problem, you have a good day. Thanks, bye-bye. I'm done, I'm done with you, I'm done. It is literally the most impossible thing to do right now is to find SpongeBob Popsicles in Pennsylvania. I mean, if you're in Philly, you have a better chance. I'm in the Pittsburgh area, good luck. You can't find them anywhere. This is brutal. This is absolutely brutal. Thank you for calling Family Dollar. For English, remain on the line, or for Spanish, press four. How would they know? For store hours, press one. How would they know? Like, if you don't speak English, you're trying to hear Spanish, They're like, to hear, to lisp for Spanish, press two. Usually they say that line in Spanish. Family Dollar. Hi, do you know if you have Spongebob popsicles? We do not. We haven't had them in many months. Wow! Really? That's yeah, like, probably like, it's at least the whole time I've worked here, like six months. Are you six months? Yeah. Oh, holy they God. are not bringing them to us anymore. I don't know why. Oh my. The spot is still there, but yeah. That is so strange. Yep. Okay, well, thank you so much. Have a great night. Yep. Sorry about that, you too. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, God. They're sold out everywhere. <laughs> what have I done? I did this to myself. This is brutal. This is so brutal, man. I literally love opening them. I think it's, like, the funniest thing to do. But then, like, I only get them once every, like, two months. And then they just sell out, man. This is horrible. What do I do? Do I just never open a SpongeBob Popsicle ever again? I know most of you are seeing the title of this video and you're thinking I'm never going, I want to open a SpongeBob Popsicle. I want to do it. Um, I'm not saying I'm never going to do it again, but right now it literally seems like I'm never going to open one ever again. Every single place I call, sold out, sold out, sold out. Like I go on vacation, I can open them and it's funny to open them when you're on vacation, but it's fun to open multiple and like be in your, your place where you, you know, your studio where I film and I, I like doing that. But if, if I'm constantly, if every place near me is constantly out, it's like, how do I do it? So right now it seems like I won't be doing that for at least a couple of days or weeks until I, maybe I have to drive to like West Virginia and with a giant cooler and bring so many back home. I mean, that's what I will do for videos because I love doing that and I hate making people wait because I see comments every day. Brent, open SpongeBob popsicles and I'm like, I want to, but they're sold out. So. Here's my proof that they are literally sold out everywhere. So for the foreseeable future, I will not be opening SpongeBob popsicles until I drive somewhere far to buy a bunch and bring them home. So I will be opening them again, but right now I gotta find a place that somewhere that, that has them. Well, everybody, I'm not lying when I say this. It is hard to find SpongeBob popsicles. It's rarer than gold. So no, I'm not done with the series. I wanna make that clear. I'm not done opening SpongeBob popsicles. I'm going to open them when I find them. I gotta, I gotta look out there into the bikini bottom and find SpongeBob popsicles and pull them out of the ocean and then I can open them. But as I said, it's hard to find. Uh, so when I find them or if popsicle, hey, popsicle, you know, I, I've given you lots of free advertisements. Free, 100% free advertising. Just send me some SpongeBob popsicles. That's, that's all I need. Let's all comment on uh, Popsicles' latest Instagram post. Just be like, send Brent TV popsicles, please. <laughs> That'd be so funny. Everyone just comments the same thing. 
Send Brent TV popsicles, please. They'll be like, what? No, send Brent TV SpongeBob popsicles, please. That's a very kind request, popsicle, please. Please, that's all I need. You you, 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 you know where to send them. You, you were kind enough to send me this beautiful jacket. I rep it in public, I'm repping your brand. We sold out of SpongeBob popsicles in Pennsylvania, so popsicle. I'm not asking for money, even though I jokingly asked earlier, but I want SpongeBob popsicles, that's all I need. If you've made it this far into the video, there is a very special announcement right now. So as you all know, we had the really cool spooky stickers. It was melting, there was a skull. Well, we sold out, but guess what? Today, we have a brand new sticker on the website. It's limited edition, we only have 150 of these bad boys, they are Frankenstein stickers. These are super cool. As I'm speaking right now, they are on the website, www.brenttelevision.com. I'll sign them. Ships anywhere in the US. Now, something I do want to bring up, if you order anything from the website, please remember, it's just two people working here. It's me and my friend, Allison. Uh, and that's it. We're not Amazon. We don't have hundreds of thousands of employees. It's two people doing all these orders uh, and we do it all out of this studio. I should show you how we fulfill an order. It might be cool. So if I pull up an order, it says, Natalie ordered a Brent TV candle, one of them. Oh my gosh. It smells like SpongeBob popsicles, super cool. It also says on the order, they want it signed. So I will sign this right now. Okay, so right there. Brent TV, super cool. So what I encourage is if you do order a candle, these melt and whenever it's done melting, you have a little jar, super cool. So maybe I should write something else, stay awesome. Stay awesome is such a motivating thing. Okay, so it says Brent TV and stay awesome. After putting their address on, we go, we take one of our clear labels, which has little our little guy on it. I'm gonna put that right, right on top. And then we got, I got some uh, tissue paper. I thought it'd be fun to go ahead and uh, wrap the candle in tissue paper, you know, to make it more, kind of feel like a popsicle packaging. Right there, like that. And then I also have some bubble wrap, even though these are bubble mailers, just to be safe. I don't like, you know, I'd hate to see something break in the mail. And then we go ahead and we seal it shut. And there we go. That is one order from brenttelevision.com. As you saw, packaged with love and care. This will be in, this is in good hands, Natalie. You were the first candle order to be packed. Super cool. If you want a candle, it's on the website. We still have some left and they're super fun. They're super cool. We also have bundle packs of bracelets. We have pins, we have keychains. We have tons of fun stuff, even more stuff coming soon. So if you want something, go check out the website. Especially that new limited edition Frankenstein sticker. Well, everybody, that is going to do it for today's video. Hopefully we find SpongeBob Pop Schools again soon. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. I already told you about my website, who cares? Follow my Instagram at Brent Television, and that's a new for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. Go buy a Frankenstein sticker before they're sold out. Bye, everyone. Brent TV, Brent TV, Brent TV has a video for me. Yeah. Brent TV, Brent TV, Brent TV has a video for me. Oh, now he's opening up popsicle, he's opening up toys. Say hello to Mr. Cameron. Lovely goes a boy. Brent TV, Brent TV, Brent TV has a video for me.